guys, it's Kristen from A Mindful Mom. And I'm Layla, and today we will be making peanut butter cups. So we're going to be making homemade peanut butter cups. And as you can tell, Layla is super excited. But what's not to love? Peanut butter cups are the best creation, in my opinion. I just love chocolate and peanut butter together. Don't you? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't know many people who don't. But we're going to show you how easy it is to make this treat at home with healthier ingredients. First things, we have a muffin tin. And then we have these little silicone liners that we're going to put our chocolate in. And when the chocolate cups come out, they're going to look just like Reese cups. Right? Mm-hmm. Okay. And those are super affordable. We use them for baking. We use them for our little lunchbox dividers um, in our lunch boxes, right? Mm-hmm. We use them all the time. Yeah. And Layla picked the pretty fun colors for today, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Next thing, we need to melt our peanut butter. No, no. We don't need to melt peanut butter, do we? No. What do we need to melt? Chocolate! We need to melt chocolate. Yes, chocolate. Now, we're going to show you our hack for melting chocolate or tempering chocolate at a low temperature to get perfectly melted chocolate. And that's using a slow cooker. So easy. This is going to change melting chocolate at home for the good. Trust me, so much easier than the microwave and almost as quick. All right, so you take a glass jar and then you're gonna put halfway full with chocolate chips. You can use any chocolate chips you like. Dark chocolate chips, milk chocolate chips, dairy-free chocolate chips. You could even use white chocolate chips. And I think she's making fun of me over there with my hand motions, isn't she? <laughs> Goofball. Um, so you could even use white chocolate if you wanted. Sometimes we chop up like chocolate bars and we use those as well. Mm -hmm. Or we chop up, what else? Leftover Easter candy. Leftover Easter candy. These kids are known to get those big giant chocolate Easter bunnies and we just can't eat all of them. So what we do is we chop up that chocolate and we use it in chocolate chip cookies to melt and to make these homemade Reese cups. And of course, they eat some, right? Pretty much the whole bunny. Pretty much the whole bunny, she wishes. Yeah, she eats, she does eat a good portion of it. All right, so once you have your chocolate in your ball jar, you're gonna place in your slow cooker, and then you're gonna fill your slow cooker up with water till it's about halfway around the ball jar. So just covering the chocolate. You're gonna turn your slow cooker on too high and then you're going to let this melt, giving it a stir every 10 minutes or so. And it'll take 20 minutes up to 30 minutes. So yes, it does take a little bit of time, but the chocolate melts perfectly. And by the magic of TV, we already have one in here, melts it. You wanna make sure not to get any water inside this jar, because that will cause your chocolate to seize up or get hard. And Yucky. So, to this chocolate, melted chocolate, we're going to add in one tablespoon of coconut oil. The coconut oil, we're just going to stir that in. The coconut oil is going to help keep this chocolate nice and smooth and really um, able for us to be able to spread it super easy and it's going to set up in the fridge or the freezer so it's um it's going to make these peanut butter cups perfect all right once that's done now what we're going to do is i'm going to pull this out of the slow cooker i'm going to use a towel to kind of dry it off so we don't risk getting any chocolate on our um, or any water into our chocolate. I know, she's eyeing it. And now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take a little mini cookie scooper, just like this. And we're gonna take our chocolate 
and we're gonna pour in just one scoop of chocolate. What you're gonna do is you're gonna roll the chocolate around just to form that bottom face. If you'd like your chocolate to go up the sides evenly, you could take a little spoon and just kind of rub it up just a tiny bit, like a quarter of an inch. Layla, would you like to do that? Sure. Okay. While Layla is doing that, I'm gonna put our chocolate back into the slow cooker to keep it warm while we wait for the bottom of our homemade peanut butter cups to set up. We're gonna put these in the freezer, we're gonna set them up for about five minutes, and then we're gonna come back and put peanut butter on top of the hardened chocolate. Okay, our chocolate has set up in the freezer nicely. It takes about five minutes. You can pop it in the fridge and it'll take about five to 10 minutes from there. So whichever way you prefer. Now we're gonna scoop some peanut butter onto our chocolate. All right, we're gonna use the same little scooper. I've washed and dried it. And then we're just gonna take one scoop of peanut butter each and put it right in the middle. Right now, Layla is just kind of giving the peanut butter a little spread on the chocolate. Mmm, mmm, Layla. How's it smell? Like she wants to eat it right now. Mm -hmm. She's doing a good job spreading that peanut butter. It doesn't have to be perfect, does it? Mm -mm. Can I make it? What do you think? She's been pretty good. Go ahead. Who can, I mean, who can deny a child licking peanut butter? I can't ever not lick it. <laughs> okay, we'll set that to the side. Now what we're gonna do is all you have to do is take your chocolate back out, wipe it down, because we don't want to get any what in our chocolate? Water. Yeah. Okay, and then all you're gonna do is you're just gonna take a tiny little bit of chocolate and pour it on the top. And then we're gonna spread it out. Just. Gently spread the chocolate. Really doesn't need much spreading. It's so perfectly melted that it kind of just covers the peanut butter perfectly on its own. The great thing about leaving this chocolate in the slow cooker is that it gets, it stays perfectly melted. From the beginning to the end. Yes, that one needs a little bit more. This one, this, one needs, needs, this one needs a little bit more. And if you were to run out of chocolate, just pop some, a few more chocolate chips in here. You can even do that after your chocolate. Like, let's say you make the base of your chocolate um, peanut butter cups and you're like, oh, I'm getting pretty low on chocolate. While your peanut butter cups are setting up, Add some more chocolate chips to this, leave it in your slow cooker, and let them melt as your um, base sets up. Only two more. Only two more. What do you think? Should we share these with the boys in our house, or do you think we should not tell them that we made them? I think we should tell them to be nice. <sighs> She's so nice, isn't she? Too bad she's here holding me accountable because I probably would eat them all to myself. No, no, no. That wouldn't be very nice. Okay, yes, use that spoon. Spread that out. Oh, Layla, these look perfect, don't they? Can I make this one? You mean first chocolate, or first peanut butter, and now chocolate? I guess, go ahead. Okay. Now. We're gonna put these back in the freezer or the fridge for five to 10 minutes, let them set out, and we're gonna show you what they look like in just a minute. All right. All right, our peanut butter cups are ready. We are so, so excited. And this took no time at all. So Layla, why don't you get one out here? 
Guys, look, it just pops out so perfectly just like that. It looks like a real peanut butter cup. It really does. Okay, so what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna store these in the refrigerator because they will melt if you leave them at room temperature. And that's because we don't have all those preservatives and stabilizers that you find in store-bought Reese cups or peanut butter cups. So I think that, I don't know, you licked the spoon or the spoon, you licked the knife. Maybe I should be the one to try it. No. All right, we'll let you try it. Go ahead. Take a little bite and you describe the flavors to us. It tastes like a, you just got out a store bought Reese cups and bit into it. <laughs> you can hear that she's got that peanut butter stuck to the roof of her mouth. She needs a glass of milk. You guys, thank you so much for joining us. In the kitchen, again, we're showing you some healthy treats, some not so healthy treats, but all together things that kids love and they can make in the kitchen with you. So thanks so much for joining us and be sure to join us again next week when we're back here in the kitchen making up something delicious. And now I'm gonna eat the rest of this. <laughs>